Phase 1 construction is progressing very well. We are now at about two-thirds complete on the construction. We're now flying over the central portion of the pit where the primary zone of mineralization is. Average grades in the Phase 1 12,000 ton a day mill will be between 2 and 2.5, and average grades in the Phase 2 project will be 2 grams. The respective cutoff grades are 1.1 grams for the Phase 1 and 0.7 grams per ton for Phase 2. The primary loading fleet for the mining operation will consist of 240 ton 793 Caterpillar trucks supported by Caterpillar 6060 hydraulic shovels. Now let's move north from the West Branch Pit to the main area of the works for Phase 1 construction. Here we see the structural components of the Phase 1 crusher which is sized for 30,000 tons a day to accommodate Phase 2. Concrete work is essentially complete and we are now working our way through the structural steel and the beginnings of the conveyor which head up to the reclaim area on the stockpile. Heading north from the crusher, we follow along the line of the conveyor where you can see structural work in the early segments of the conveyor in place. We come next to the stockpile area under which will be the reclaim tunnel and it will have three apron feeders in it that will feed the next set of conveyors which lead to the sag mill. Construction is well advanced on the mechanical components in the reclaim tunnel. Next, heading further north, we come upon the sag mill which is the centerpiece of the phase one expansion. It is a 26 megawatt, 38 foot diameter unit and is sized ultimately for a capacity of 30,000 tons a day. It is nearly mechanically complete and will soon be lowered onto its bearings. Here you can see the structural steer works for the operating floor adjacent to the sag mill. Part of the phase one scope is an extensive set of retrofitting and refurbishment in the existing plant. This is perhaps the most complex portion of the phase one project where we are working side by side with an operating plant. The major components include two new cyclones adjacent to the two existing ball mills. Structural works for those two towers are well advanced as you can see in this shot. Panning back across the existing plant, we come to the next major element of scope, which are new leach tanks to increase throughput from eight or 9,000 tons a day to the phase one design capacity of 12,000 tons a day. Another major scope element in phase one is the construction of a new oxygen plant. Works are complete on this and it has been successfully handed over to operations. Demolition of the old oxygen plant has begun and it will be the site of the new Aleutian circuit for the phase one expansion. Next major steps include continued structural works on the conveyor and the areas around the sag mill as well as in the existing mill. Electrical and fine mechanical works have also begun in the existing plant area. Now let's take a pass through the Phase 2 scope of works as we fly through this 3D animation. We come in over Phase 1, the sag mill and the conveyor in the operating floor, and a reminder that that has been sized to 30,000 tons a day. Over on the right, the new scope elements for Phase 2. A 27-foot diameter gearless motor drive ball mill, 20 megawatts, the cyclone tower and the gravity circuit, the pre-leach thickener here in the foreground, and behind it, the new 30,000 ton a day tank train. Passing along the tank train, we see the refinery, the new Aleutian circuit, the carbon regeneration facility, the safety screens, and finally, the tailings thickener. Finally, as we pull away from the site, we can see the complete scope of works for both phase one and phase two, from the crusher in the foreground through to the stockpile area, the sag mill, moving towards the right, the new ball mill, the new tank train, and the new tailings thickener. Total capital expenditures for phase two are forecast at 590 million, which is a $30 million improvement versus the estimate in the PFS.